good afternoon all of you so let me introduce myself <clears throat> i am sadananda swain like actually i have joined in canara bank as an agriculture officer in 1982 and then retired from canara bank as assistant general manager my basic qualification is i am msc a gni horticulture so now your subject is agriculture so all, now you you are appearing for this you have already qualified this preliminary and main examination of this so that means specialized officer specifically this agricultural officers so you are only one step you have to go one step now actually to click the interview and actually so so wish you all the best for the ensuing interview so i think you know as i understand the 27th you are going 27th the interview is scheduled so next week so let us hope for the best and all the best for all of you okay so we will start that see agriculture so i will be concentrating on actually purely agriculture and related to banking related to agriculture okay first actually we will be going because this is a time is very short so we will be concentrating how this is probable question what are the possible questions you may face in the real interview so accordingly we will move we will move so what are the possible questions probable questions and the answer to that so we will be going here so subject wise but it is not possible to go otherwise we cannot cover all the subjects so okay so starting we start to start with how actually you may face a course so many because the subject is very vast okay subject is very part agriculture subject is very very part you may expect anything so there will be mostly actually there will be five to six panel members will be there one number one or two among them will be purely agriculturalist so actually so as see your parent subject is agriculture so definitely actually some questions will be facing on agriculture okay so how this agriculture is important for our economy the all almost all, all of you you are you are knowing this so okay actually that is the, the is a major contributor contribution to for gdp it is around more than 6 it is around 16% to the gdp although this is per share of a gdp is it uh, for a for it is um, for agriculture is it declining actually steadily is it declining year after year but it is a very vital for our economy because majority of the population of our indian population or 50% of the rural people they depend upon agriculture more than 50% of the rural household they depend upon agriculture that means it gives a great employment opportunity for our economy okay why actually we are talking about that actually declining it is agreeable it is not actually exactly the gdp the quantum wise it is not declining but it is the share is declining percentage percentage wise is declining that means why it is declining why the when the quantum it is not declining but the share is declining due to increase share of industry and services so the this over a period of time industries and the services sector they are have grown up so their share has considerably increased thereby actually they are decreasing the share of agriculture in gdp okay however however we can agriculture is a major <clears throat> the deciding factor of the economy unless agriculture develops it is very difficult to sustain okay 
so how actually what is the actually importance of agriculture this uh, actually agriculture is the backbone of the country time actually you, you think over in 50s and 60s what actually we used to india used to import the food grains from abroad so now the position is what position is now we are in a position to export the food grains export the food grains to some other countries so that means we have attained self sufficiency <coughs> in food grains agriculture so agriculture actually productivity of agriculture has increased even also we have to admit that majority major areas the productivity agriculture productivity as compared to some other advanced countries foreign countries the uh, indian agriculture is characterized by low productivity why actually what are the reasons behind that indian agriculture is characterized by low productivity what are the reasons for that suppose some questions will face what are the reasons for low productivity in agriculture in india what are the reasons so you can one by one you can tell number 1 is what fragmentation and subdivision of land holding predominantly indian india because due to law of inheritance we are highly thickly populated place populated country tropical country so due to law of inheritance what happens when actually one person is having two sons or three sons or four sons so his entire land land of property will be divided into accordingly it will be divided he is having four sons means it will be divided into four subdivision and fragmentation okay there is a difference in subdivision and fragmentation of land holding this fragmentation is more dangerous than subdivision why actually because fragmented lands if the same particular land is subdivision means actually you see just see actually somebody is having let us say assume that one farmer is having 10 acres land he is having let us say he is two two sons so each son will get five acres land okay five acres let us assume that five acres land is situated in two patches one 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 patch is here five acres another patch is here so five acres so actually one son may get one patch five acres each five acres and another son may get another five acres but fragmentation means so from the same piece two pieces of land each son will get share so this here this this five acre will become two patch two patches and another patch the second five acres will become another two so that means what will be there this will be the it will become four fragmented lands so that is the reason actually this actually instead of five acres it will become 2.5 so this is further actually this is these two sons they are having actually and if you are going to one three sons each so what will happen so what will happen? again it will be divided into three sons each actually six so like that so fragmentation is more dangerous means actually each because this this happens due to because this is every patch of land is not same as regard to fertility irrigation facility maybe they are actually some so the value of the land will be some cases it will be more some cases will be dry land so like that actually less fertile land this is more fertile land so that is why everybody want to actually share in all patches of land so that is why the lands are fragmented for which actually mechanization is not possible mechanization is not possible means actually they will leads to low productivity lack of irrigation facility uh mechanization actually not non implementation mechani mechanization due to actually fragmented lands and actually intra seed seed also is actually input actually the qualitative input non use of good quality seeds then lack of actually uses in fertilizers manures lack of actually intracultural operations or lack of adequate technical knowledge so actually all these actually that then lack of uh, that uh, marketing facilities these all these things actually are responsible for low productivity in the agriculture you can no signal but the level thik thak achi ta chalchi ta 
नोटिगनाल देखा था मुझे हाथ मारदेला मैंने सी कहला नो सिग्नाल देखा था ठीक अच्छे तो कहते भी देख लो चल ठीक मो शुणा मो कथा रेकर्ड हो ओके 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 विल नाउ कंटिन्यू आज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग एक्चुअली व्हाट अबाउट योर जॉब रोल आज एग्रीकल्चर ऑफिसर्स इन द बैंक आर्टिमिस्ट सम फेयर आइडिया यू मस्ट हैव what do you have to do actually because actually unlike this all general officers this agriculture officer agriculture officer are specially recruited by banks what is the purpose to increase the agriculture advances of the bank this specialized actually particularly the specialized officer recruited because they are more equipped with the adequate knowledge to so that the agriculture finance can be an improved because as actually we must agree with everybody we will say is you know, government is also thinking banks are also thinking in that line instead of for recruiting this is general persons general officers if one agriculture qualified person is recruited he will be in better position to judge the economic viability and the technical feasibility of the proposal pertaining to agriculture so that actually so that will uh, in the ultimately it will be helpful of, helpful for the bank or the economy in increasing the agriculture advantage of the bank or economy you may be knowing actually there is a some mandatory percentage <coughs> priority sector agriculture is one of the priority sector is the top most importance is given to agriculture so far as this priority sector lending is concerned priority sector why it is called priority sectors because it is either to actually the otherwise it is a neglected sector previously before nationalization what do you believe they are actually before they are on the banks are concentrating on industrial activities business activities ignoring the agriculture but agriculture is important it is a, as we have reported in the initially we have discussed it is a very vital uh, source vital for our economy agriculture plays a vital role so on if you can ignore this agriculture then it will be a, it a problem for the economy indian economy that indian economy or any country's economy it will be a problem so agriculture cannot be ignored so that is why it is actually one of the priority sector is the most importance is given to this agriculture so that is why the banks actually they are recruiting the specialized officers so you should know about that actually that there are various schemes of the central government all of the state government as well as the state government so far as the agriculture is concerned for agriculture there are various schemes so we will just tell the actually something about this actually we will discuss a little about this various schemes pertaining to agriculture by the central government what are these schemes P P M K S Y, Prime Minister Krishas Krishi Sinsai Jodhan. In brief, actually, I will be telling. You just actually one this is this type of. Suppose in the questions, maybe there are tell actually some five central government schemes of agriculture. So actually, you can name some few, and actually, if if you are asked to explain something, actually, you can explain. Okay. So one is P M K S Y, Prime Minister Krishi Sinsai Jodhan. So that is our health care plan. that is water conservation and management irrigation that means actually that is the irrigation is one of the inputs for agriculture then pkvy paramparagat krishi vikas yojana that means initiative to promote organic farming organic farming actually that actually this farm art manure manures farm art by the use of instead of this chemical fertilizers we can actually that organic farming actually now that nowadays this organic farming is actually also given importance but actually by the by also some of the question may be asked 
this organic farming has created a problem in some country. Which, which is that country? It is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is one of the, actually Sri Lanka's crisis is one of the factors is organic farming. So actually what they have gone, actually they have gone for organic farming. As a, as a organic farming, what is the advantage, disadvantage? Disadvantage means it is less production, product, productivity is less. The production is less as compared to actually this, if you use chemical fertilizers, productivity will be more, here productivity will be less. So that is why actually then how to feed the millions of the people. So that is the problem actually the Sri Lanka has faced. So that is that is the crisis. Okay, Sri Lanka is one of the crises, some several other political other crises are also there. Okay, so that if something actually related to that, uh, that uh, organic farming, the question is there, you can answer. Another scheme is Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Jodhana. There are a lot of importance is giving, being given here. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Jodhana means insurance of the crops. Huh? Or if there is a due to any natural calamity or anything, actually this crop is damaged. So some notified crops are there. They are insured by the government. Insured by the government. So actually, so if that uh, crops are damaged, actually we can get the uh, from the government actually will be able to repay that or actually to that extent actually that um, you can get the funds from government okay then gby gramin bhandaran jojana this is due to prevent distress sale distress sales what actually because due to whenever you might have been observed lot of uh, you know must be knowing that due to actually there is sometimes sometimes during a har harvest season harvest season uh, actually due to lack of demand or actually more supply is there there is no adequate warehousing facility what will happen so farmers will be forced to sell their produce at a lesser price distress sale it is called distress sale so to avoid that a gramin bhandaran jodana actually there is a scheme of the government of india then e nam national agriculture mission Okay, what is it? This is a Pan India Electronic Trading Portal which networks the existing APMC. APMC, you want me Agriculture Produce Market Committee. Mondays to create a unified national market for agricultural commodities. Okay, what is that? ENAM, National Agriculture Mission. This is a pan India electronic trading portal which networks the existing APMC Mondays to create a unified national market for agriculture commodities. Okay, another national mission for sustainable agriculture. NMSA, national mission for sustainable agriculture. This is for enhancing agriculture productivity focusing on integrated farming, water use efficiency, soil health management and synergizing resources, synergizing resources. Then so many other schemes are also there, RAD, rain-fed area development, SHM, soil health management, SMAF, SMAF submission of agroforestry, so like that actually so many other schemes are there, livestock insurance scheme, schemes on fisheries, okay. Another scheme is PM Kisan, okay, PM Kisan, that is PM Kisan Samanidhi. In that case actually 6,000 rupees, some financial assistance is given to the farmers, to the small and marginal farmers. So 6,000 means 2,000 in each season. Okay. Similarly, also, Odisha government also, there are actually, for yet, pertaining to agriculture, there are some schemes. You actually, the Kaliya Jodhana. You might have heard, Kaliya Jodhana is a very popular scheme of the Odisha government. So what is your, previously it was 10,000 per year. 
So now it is reduced to 4,000. Man, see 2,000 in two seasons, government, state government is giving 4,000. That means actually 6,000 central government, 4,000 state government. This is called financial assistance to farmers. Another scheme is there of Odisha government, state government. That is Balaram Jojana. Balaram Jojana. So, what is that full form of Balaram Jojana? Balaram. You know that, na? Okay. Bumi Hina Agriculturist. I think actually this Balaram Jojana. You the, will discuss about a little about the Balaram Jodhana also. This is Kaliya Jodhana. What is the full form of Kaliya Jodhana? Kruishak assistance for livelihood and income augmentation. Okay. Balaram Jodhana is a Bhumihina agriculturist. Loan and resources augmentation model. It is a model. It is a model. It is a loan and resources augmentation model for Bhumihina agriculturist. So, Balaram means Bhumihina agriculturist, loan and resources augmentation, augmentation model. Okay. What are these objectives? Objectives is the new scheme by the government of Odisha to provide agriculture credit to landless farmers, share croppers, landless farmers who are jobless after the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. In 2020, it was formulated. 20 or 21, it was formulated. This is Balaram's Jojana. What are the implementing agency? Implementing agency, what are the is NABAD, Atma, Image, Khrushchev Sathi, and Banks. So, we'll just briefly we'll discuss NABAD. What is the role of NABAD? It focuses on education and training of the farmer, farmer, farmer groups. Farmer groups. They turn to group of farmers. JLG, JLG, Joint Liability Group, Joint Liability Group, one JLG will be formed consisting of five farmers. So, training work will be, NABAD will give the training aspect. Atma, Agriculture, Technology and Management Agencies will work at a district level. Atma, Atma means Agriculture, Technology and Management Agency will work at district level and state level image. Image is working, it is Image Institute on Management of agriculture, Agricultural Extension. Previously it was known as, this is Gram Sabak Talim Kendra, it was there, na? so now it is known as Image Institute on Management of Agricultural Extension. Okay, Krushak Sathi, village level Krushak Sathi will be there. So JLG, for farming JLG. So, JLG means what is joint liability group will contain five farmers. So, they will be giving training and actually banks are there to provide finance to this JLG. So, actually what is the amount? 1,60,000 actually it is the, in the beginning actually Balaram scheme was when it was formulated. 1,60,000 can be given to the each JLG. Okay. And another thing actually as a student of your, since your background is agriculture, sometimes actually you may be facing some questions, what are the scientific, scientific names of different crops. So, uh, we are not going to discuss all the entire thing actually, but at least some scientific names, you are knowing the, all the things, scientific names, but still some major crops you should Remember actually, maybe actually you throw the sometimes in the interview board, you may be asked to tell the what are the scientific names or actually it's the family name. Some sometimes also several cross questions will be there. Supposing family uh, potato. Potato actually what is the scientific name? We'll tell solanum tuberosum. Okay. What is the family? Solanasi. So the was immediately actually one cross question may be there. What is the from the same family? Tell another name from the same family. For example, it may be Brinjal, Solana Melonjana, it family is Solanasi. Okay. So,
So we will discuss actually some scientific names actually some few minutes actually we will briefly we will discuss about the scientific some scientific names of different crops. Okay, you are knowing all the things but still to have to recapitulate. Okay, quickly, we are just talking, we will not waste time here because actually this is so you have to go through all the things. So, rice, or is a sativa, family is gramini, wheat, triticum, estibum, family is poesi, touch me not, Udia it is called lajakuri lata, touch me not, mimosa purika, tomato. Solanum lycopersicum, family Solanaci. And sometimes actually now it is told lycopersicum esculentum. Okay, casu nut, anacardium occidentale, family anacardiaci. Pineapple, ananas commosus, family bromeliaci. Potato, Solano, Solanum tuberosum, family Solanaci. Brinjal, Solanum melanzana, family Solanaci. It is otherwise called egg plant also. Onion, Alium, Alium Sepa, family Ameri, Ameri Lydia C. Okra, Abel Mustabes, Abel Mustas Escalantus, family Malvasi. Cabbage, Brassica Olesia, variety Capitata. Cauliflower, Brassica Olesia, variety Botrytis. Lettuce, Lactuca Sativa. Ginger, Gingiber. Officiana, officinale, parsley, petrocellium, petrocellinum, crisp, crispum, kips, crispsum, china rose, hibiscus rosa sinensis, family malvasi, marigold, calendula, officinalis, family calendulasi, petunia, petunia, family species, petunia species, family solanasi, genia, genia, species family Asteriaci Dahlia Dahlia pinata family Asteriaci okay rose rose roja species lot of so many species are there family Rojasi chrysanthemum chrysanthemum gladiflorum species indicum family Asteriaci mango mangifera indica family Anacardiaci is a national fruit like that national tree is a banyan tree okay jack fruit atocarpus heterophyllus family moresi banana musa species musa akumala akuminata so like that actually so many species are there apple malus pimula malus domestica malus silvestris family Rojasi, Jasmine, Jasmine of species, Pamiti Uliasi, Lotus, Nelumbium, Nucifera, Family, Nelumbiasi, the national flower also, national flower, fruit, national flower, we have discussed, Lily, Lilium species, Tulip, Tulipa species, Tulip, you know, actually there is a colorful plant, colorful flower, Family, Liliasi, there are a hundred high species, a hundred ten species are there. For this to live and actually thousands of hybrids are also there. So actually these are different colors. Or two leaves are there. Orchid, family family is orchidiasi. Carnation, dianthus, cari cariophyllus, zorbera, zorbera, zorbera. You please find out. Yam. Yam, yeah, ma'am. Dioscoria alata. Family Dioscoria C. Zoot. Corcoras. Capsularis. Capsularis. Colocasia. Colocasia taro. Or aram. Colocasia esculenta. Family arasi. We had the one interview also. It was asked also. You know that uh, it was Oluo. In Odia, it is called Oluo. English name is. Elephant foot, elephant foot 
this is also a food item it is a tropical fruit it is a tropical tuber crop elephant fruit only what are called odia re so what is the scientific name amorphophyllus poeni folius family is arasi colocase it is also the, here it is called elephant fruit colocase is called elephant ear elephant ear kasaba kasaba tropioca tropioca manihot escolenta family euphorbiaceae so like that actually some these are the some i think some uh, some other scientific names are also there kevada kevada means actually you will be finding this here. some people are going to from uh, this uh, gopalpur area ganjam so you will be finding lot of this uh, kevada plants what is the what is called this is called uh, um, umbrella tree or a screw pine tree screw pine this straw kya kya ho so kya pandanus phas phasicularis sweet potato alpomia batatas family convolvulaci avocado persia americana family lauraci drumstick moringa olerifera olerifera Terigos moringa, terigos marals also. Moringa, terigos marama, family moringa si. Papaya, carica papaya, family carica si. Coconut, cocos nucifera, family, family erica si. Erica nut, erica catechu, family erica si. Pointed goat, trichosanthus dioca, family cucurbita si. Bitter goat, Memordica carantica, carantia, family cucurbitaci, ridge goat, lupa acutangula, family cucurbitaci, smooth goat, that is sponge goat, lupa cylindrica, family cucurbitaci, watermelon, citrullus lanatus, family cucurbitaci, mosk melon, cucumis, cucumis, melo, family cucurbitaci. Ash goat, Benin Casa Hospida, family cucurbitaci, pumpkin, cucurbita maxima or cucurbita moschata. The national vegetable, so national fruit, national flower, national tree, national fruit, national vegetable, it is a pumpkin, pomegranate, punica, granatum, family, lanthraci. Bottle goat, Lagenaria, Sine, Sisse, Raria, Family Cucurbitaci, Spine goat, Memordica, Dioca, Family Cucurbitaci, Cucumber, Cucumber Satibas, Family Cucurbitaci, Grape, Vitis, Vinifera, Family Vitaci, Orange, Citrus, Citrus, Sinensis, Sweet, Sweets, Orange, Family. Rutasi, mango, mangifera indica, lime, citrus, aurati, folia, family rutasi, lemon, citrus, species, family rutasi, pear, pyrus, communis, family rojasi, peach, prunus, porsica, family rojasi, neem, azaridacta indica, family meliasi. Native of Indian subcontinent, that is India, Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Maldives. Fig, Ficus carica, family Morasi. Banyan, Ficus bengalensis, family Morasi. People, Ficus religiosa, family Morasi. Guava, Sidium, Guajaba, family Mirta, Mirtasi. Okay, so we have quickly actually discussed about the actual some scientific names. I have, we have not spent much time on this. We will discuss further things. So, actually, scientific, what I mean to say, some scientific names also you should remember. At least, actually, if, if uh, it is uh, in the interview, if it is, it is being asked, actually, tell the scientific name of some crops, so actually, you should be in a position to tell that, actually, because actually, because only your, your subject, this is your subject. Okay. 
banyan tree actually that is specific as a banyan tree as i have told it is a national tree ficus megalensis the tree is characterized by the aerial prop roots is what is the speciality of suppose in the question is asked what is the speciality of this banyan tree banyan tree means actually where the many people are not able to tell what is the special prop roots no other tree they are having this prop to prop root system prop roots baragacha ohol ta kwa jay baragacha ohol so prop roots are of special characteristic characteristics of this banyan tree so each that prop root the tree is characterized by the aerial prop roots that mature into thick woody trunks which can become a indistinguishable from the primary trunk with age so that is why it is told that you cannot because normally the age of the tree can be ascertained by counting the annual rings so each spring actually one ring is formed so by counting the number of rings annual rings you can estimate what you will be the age of the tree but a banyan tree is such tree it is very difficult to ascertain the age because it is a prop roots also also they will be also so who is it is not it is not possible to actually estimate the age of the banyan tree okay so these are the what actually because we will not get much stress on this okay so one by one we will go the three to the other topics so various schemes also we have discussed so coming to the actually what are they actually some monoecious plant dioecious plant and a hermaphrodite plant different types of plants are there herbs shrubs trees are there deciduous plants are there evergreen plants are there then coniferous plants are there so what are the deciduous so like that actually so here we are talking about that actually the now we are talking about monoecious plant dioecious plant and hermaphrodite plant what are which are the monoecious plant monoecious plant means the male and female parts are available present in the same flower the, the male organ and the female organ that means actually that male organ is characterized by the anthers stamens pollen grains so that the female organ is ovary pistil so like that actually it is characterized by the ova ovary like that so actually here monoecious flower monoecious plant in the same flower there is sorry have hermaphrodite plant both hermaphrodite or bisexual flower both the male organ and female organ are available in the same flower monoecious plant both the male and the female are in the available in the same plant but in a different flower that male flower is different female flower is different what are the example example is cucurbits maize these are the examples of monoecious plant this is in the same plant both male flower and female flower are, are present but they are different male flower is different female flower is different then another is a dioecious plant dioecious plant means male flower male plant itself is different female plant is also different so that means two different plants are actually different example date palm then then you can talk about this vegetable sugar um, pointed gourd spine gourd these are the male plant is different female plant is also different so actually here some cross question may be there from animal kingdom whether actually whether this is this similar characteristic of like the hermaphrodite nature whether any organisms actually exhibit that characteristics that means hermaphrodite means bisexual this bisexual characteristics any organ bisexual we have seen all the most of the flowers most of the crops are bisexual let it be rice wheat 
all the vegetable pulses all are actually mostly actually because monoecious we have told some few examples are there dioecious also few plants are there but actually other actually most of the uh, plants are bisexual or hermaphrodite flowers hermaphrodite plants so like that actually from animal kingdom also some organisms are also there they exhibit the bisexual characteristics hermaphrodite characteristics which are these animals one example is earthworm earthworm actually means in the same organism both male part and a male organ and female organ is available so what is the advantage of that advantage of that is a quick multiplication they actually this actually earthworms very quickly they multiply because due to availability of this hermaphrodite characteristics so they actually they that is good for the farmers so they are often also it is they are, they are called actually krushak bandhu so they are called also friends of farmers the earthworms are also called friends of farmers because actually they make the soil porous they they loosen the soil is loosen make the soil porous and actually sometimes also so actually they have the, after they are their their death actually they they actually so actually they do work as a Uh, manures and fertilizers the vermi compost also example actually so okay so coming to so here actually we are not going actually very system or systematically because because the some questions are there i am giving actually some questions and the possible question and their answer okay what are the actually sometimes actually you are you are asked actually what are the mango varieties so big different varieties of actually some varieties some tell some actually five varieties of say, mango varieties so actually you can tell that alfonso i will just quickly will go alfonso available hapus it is called ratnagiri area badami sousa lengra dasheri kesar banganpalli molgua himsagar imam pasand fazli like that actually safeda bombay green nilam gulab khas so like that there are they say these are popular mango varieties there are some hybrid mangoes also hybrid hybrid mango varieties which are those is mallika push mallika amrapali it is a cross between dasheri and nilam okay when we are discussing about mango mango so i will now now actually we can talk about what are the one is mango is actually species is characterized by by alternate bearing so this this is called alternate bearing in mango what is that that means one year there will be a bumper crop followed by a lean crop crop in the second year why it is happens it happen it is a physiological characteristics of that mango so many other trees are also there which also exhibit the similar characteristics like their alternate bearing so here the mango is a very typical thing actually the few is a typical example of alternate bearing okay so why it happens the question is as a because as a student of agriculture you must tell the all the things this is why we know that everybody knows actually we will talk about that yes yes it is there one year if there is a good crop bumper crop next year there will be lean crop actually so what is that so that means the the tree this year if there is a good crop is there next year there will be a less number of fruiting will be there why it happens actually so now actually as a technical student on agriculture you must tell all the things why actually why it why it happens actually so it is happen so before understanding the alternate bearing in mango we must understand what is the characteristics actually photo sensitivity this is called photosensitiveness photosynthesis is one thing photosynthesis the we are talking about it the photosensitivity photosensitive crops and the photo insensitive crops major crops are photosensitive crops that means they respond to a particular day length so that means they will come to flowering the plants the, the trees they will come to flowering or inflorescences will be there with a particular day length then only actually they will come to flowering otherwise actually they will not come to flowering 
so mango is what mango is a photo sensitive crop so that means actually that is why actually it is a, in a particular season actually mango flowering is there fruiting and flowering happens actually in a particular season not throughout the year like brinjal okra what happens even so potato most of the crops are photo sensitive crops so because the vegetables cauliflower cabbage what they actually their winter season so they are actually they come to actually flowering and fruiting in a particular season or a particular that means they are a particular day length this is called photo sensitive crops which are the photo insensitive crops that means irrespective of the day length so they will come to flowering what is that for example so drumstick may be there brinjal may be there so throughout the year they will be perennial perennially they will be fruiting and flowering hibiscus fruiting and flowering will be there okay even also that uh, mm. okay so we will discuss actually what is the specific region for that alternate bearing alternate bearing is for mango later but like the some other crops are also there but we are concentrating on mango <coughs> why actually it happens alternate bearing okay so what it happens is the twig which bear the inflorescence it takes actually it takes 15 months the new twig it takes 15 months for complete maturity and as a result actually after that only after 15 months only actually it will come to inflorescence flowering so that is why actually supposing one twig it has given fruiting this this year after that what will happen that is same from that actually from the same uh, uh, branch actually another twig will be there so that twig it will take 15 months to come have a complete maturity so that it will bear the fruiting or flowering so 15 months means by that time supposing actually this this month actually let us say actually mango season is now in are they are actually february january february march april may there will be fruiting okay so after april may may actually fruiting is there so after that actually new two will be there in may okay may actually what will be happening happening so may means in the after 15 months means the next may june july august so in august actually it will be mature enough to have the inflorescence or actually to have the flowers so that by the time actually this is, is over actually this its day length is over so that the time is over so actually so it has to wait for another year so since it is a since a, if that is instead of a 15 months it is a 10 or 11 months then actually next year also it will be same branch of mango <coughs> can also come for fruiting i think i am clear So mango alternate bearing we have discussed. Different schemes also we have discussed. So rice, that is the staple crop of the India. What are the top rice producing state? Top rice producing state are in India, West Bengal, Punjab, UP, AP, Bihar, Odisha. Odisha comes actually now in eighth position. Assam, West Bengal, and Odisha, the three crops of paddy are grown in a year. That is means Os, Amman, Baro. Or someone borrow horse paddy. Then see before this actually there is Haradhana, before this called Biali Biali Dhanakwaje, Biali Dhanakwaje. There is early paddy, early paddy. This is actually in the autumn season, 
it is harvested. Then actually main crop is Haman. Haman crop. Then borrow means it is summer. Means only after the harvesting, this residual moisture will be there. This happens actually low lying area, low lying areas where this water also still also accumulate in the water. So taking the advantage of that, this borrow paddy can be grown. So these are mostly photo insensitive. How we are talking about photo sensitive and this type of paddy. Actually, traditionally paddy is a photo sensitive crop. Traditionally. But actually, this after this new variety, evolvement of this new varieties, so these are actually now photo insensitive. So that means actually throughout the year, different seasons also it can be grown. Otherwise, this traditional rice, earlier actually some long height rice were there, paddy cultivation was there. Traditional rice, they are very, very much photo sensitive crops. So that means normally actually this is flowering. When the paddy comes to flowering, in the month of August and September, let us say. So, if somebody, some paddy is transplanted in the month of what actually, supposing let us say July or August. So, what will happen? It will not come to, normally actually, what is three to four months, it should come to a harvesting stage, but it will not come. What will happen? In the next year, it has to wait. Because actually, by that time, normal growth is not there to have a flowering. So, it is late transplantation, late planting of paddy. So, it will leads to what actually? You have to wait actually. This is actually you have to go on. So, it will be the plant will survive, but it will come to flowering in the next year only. So, it will you have to wait for another one and, two, one and a half years. So, this is traditional varieties of paddy are photo sensitive varieties. Transfer rice varieties. So there are varieties of rice. Like that, you should know varieties of rice, wheat, cauliflower, cabbage. So some varieties also you should know. Varieties so to name a few IR8, Ratna, IR64, Padma, Bolo, CRR, it is developed in CRR. Supposing actually CRR, we are having actually in Odisha, we are having a central institute, CRRI, Central Rice Research Institute. It is in Vidyadharpur, Katak. Okay. So, actually, it is, we are fortunate enough that actually one central institute is central rice research institute is available in Odisha. So, lot of varieties are also evolved from CRRI. So, if the question is, what are the, actually, can you name some varieties of rice? Because actually, many varieties are of rice are evolved in Odisha, OUAT also. Which are the research stations? Research stations of obtaining to agriculture. CRRI, so Central Research Institute, there are there. ICAR is there. Then in agriculture universities are there. Then KBKs, Krusi Vikan Gendra. These are the also research stations pertaining to agriculture. So, Kiran, Jagannath, Hema, Kalinga 3, Rudra, Sankar. Hmm. Bandana, Lolat, Jajati, Gauri, Masuri, like that. So, wheat also. So, actually, some varieties of wheat are also there. So, like that, actually, we are not going to discuss all these things. You find, try to find out actually what are the varieties of different varieties of rice, wheat, cauliflower, cabbage. So, like the potato. Soil type. You can discuss about the soil type. Soil type which are suitable for different crops, which actually some question is there, which for paddy crops, which are the normal actually soil type. So, like that, actually, what are the first we will discuss how what are types of soils? Types of soils, different types of soils, alluvial soils, sandy loamy soils, sandy soils, clay soils. So, like that. So, that is here actually will come to actually pH level of the soil, pH level. What is the normal ideal, normal pH level? pH level means it will be 6 to 7 or mostly it is normal is 6.5. 6.5 is the normal pH level of the soil. If it is less than that, it will be, it is become acidic soil and it is more than that, so it will be alkaline soil. So actually what is the range? Range of pH, it is 3.5 to 10. 3.5 to 10 is the normal pH range of the soil. So, 
below actually 6. So, below 6 it is termed as the acidic soil, more than 7 it is called alkaline soil. So, what are the actually so then, so what are the plants suitable for acidic soil? Most of these plants actually they, can, they will grow better well in alluvial or the normal pH level soil. Alluvial soil, clay low, sandy loams soil actually. These are the soils actually most suitable for cultivation purpose, vegetable cultivation like that. But still also some calcareous soil is there, acidic soil is there, alkaline soil is there. So acidic soil means what are, these are the terms, what to, what to do acidic soil means either you have to reclaim soil reclamation, it is called soil reclamation. You have to change the status of the soil or what actually you have to grow actually some plants which are actually which can be which can sustain that type of actually acidic or alkaline nature. So acidic means what acidic soil this is sandy soil sandy they are only acidic soil. So what type of crops can be watermelon. So like that actually paddy also can paddy can grow in acidic and alkaline soil also. So like that alkaline soil what is the barley wheat these are the alkaline actually soil also, pH, alkaline soil, it can grow. And calcareous soil, calcareous soil, what we will be finding mostly bubble trees in the calcareous soil. So, what to do? What to do? How to change? Suppose in calcareous soil, it is very normal, crop, crops cannot grow there, except this is bubble or a few actually that type of trees. Normal planting cannot be, plantation cannot be done in calcareous soil. So, what you have, we have to convert that soil to a normal soil. So, you have to add some gypsum. Gypsum actually can be added to change the status of the soil. We will actually uh, now we will discuss about there actually there are some preliminary things will really actually there are actually suppose you see common uh, knowledge also there there are different revolutions in agriculture you may be knowing green revolution different revolutions are there green revolution pertain to food grains food grains green revolution was there it was around 75 we are initially we are discussing now how Actually, India used to import the food grains from other countries. Position was like that in the 50s and 60s. So, 75 actually, 70s actually, this thing was, it was felt that actually green revolution was there, green revolution. So, the, what are the different revolutions pertaining to agriculture in India? We will just actually some names, some actually few revolutions, you know. Green revolution, it is pertaining to food grain. White, white revolution, milk production, black revolution, petroleum production, blue revolution, fish, pertaining to fish, increase of fish production, golden fiber revolution, jute, grey revolution, fertilizer, pink revolution, onion and a prawn, red revolution, meat and a tomato, round revolution, potato, silver fiber revolution, revolution cotton, Silver revolution, egg and poultry. Yellow revolution, oil seeds. Then another is actually sweet revolution. Sweet revolution. This is late actually in 2020. 20, I think this is a government, central government. Is, this is sweet revolution was not earlier, it was not known, but recently, very recently, means 2020. 20, uh, 20 it was there, it is pertaining to apiculture, honey, production of honey, sweet revolution. So, then another is the rainbow revolution, rainbow, rainbow means it is integration, integral development program of agriculture, horticulture, forestry, fishery, poultry, animal husbandry, that means integration of all revolution is called Rainbow Revolution. Okay. When you are coming for this animal husbandry, animal agriculture, then agriculture we are discussing, agriculture, we are discussing agriculture. Okay. 
So another term is the alert activities. Which are the alert activities? No, you must be knowing what are, what are the alert to agriculture. Agriculture means the primary activities. Then alert activities, farmers. One typical farmer in the village, what it does? Apart from actually that, this farming. Nowadays, actually, you see monoculture was there. Previously, monoculture was there. One type of mono, monocropping pattern. <clears throat> now, actually, two seasons, three seasons are there. More people are practicing. But previously, they were doing actually one type of crop, only paddy or actually sometimes pulses. It was there. Even also, <clears throat> nowadays also, to sustain, to sustain his entire livelihood, what the farmers are there is to allied activities. Allied activities, dairy farming, poultry, poultry farming, dog rearing, then, uh, then actually apiculture, apiculture, so many other activities, goat rearing, sheep rearing, piggery, these are the things actually these are allied to agriculture. Okay, now we will come to what are the different types of farming? Types of farming. Types of farming. Hmm. Okay. One is actually subsistence farming or subsistence agriculture. What is that? Subsistence is previously this traditional, traditionally people are actually only doing actually this is subsistence farming. So whatever actually they will produce, say so entire it will be consumed by the family. It was, it was the only, mostly it was for the consumption of the family. So, this was the subsistence farming. Another is actually shifting farming. Shifting farming means that is that this is felling forest, burning, then raising crops for two to three years, then land is abandoned. Uh, of course, this government is also trying to discourage this activity. This is called actually, this is shifting cultivation. Mostly, this hilly areas, it is happening. It is called zone cultivation in Assam. Ponam in Kerala. Podu Chasa, Podu in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. The government is trying to discourage all this, this type of farming. Okay. This is dry farming. Dry land farming. The practice of growing crops without irrigation or in areas which receive an annual rainfall of 75 cm to 50 cm or even less. So these are the areas where dry farming is practiced. Then another is the mixed cultivation or mixed, mixed farming. That means cultivation of crops and raising animals and fishes together. Actually, some, sometimes this rice paddy field, paddy field actually sometimes actually this prawns, fishes are also grown. So uh, before the harvest actually then they will catch this prawn and fishes. So this is a mixed type of farming. Another is a multiple farming. It is a practice of growing two or more crops together. Terrace farming. Hill, the mountains cut to form terraces. Contour farming, so like that plantation farming, dry farming, mixed and multiple farming, sedentary and permanent cultivation. This is normally actually sedentary and permanent cultivation we are the, all the farmers are practicing. Terrace farming, contour farming, another is no-till farming. No-till farming. What is that? No-till farming, it is zero tillage. It is Zero tillage. That means that should not be any farming at all. No tillage farming is zero tillage is an agricultural technique for growing crops or pasture without disturbing the soil through tillage. So, what is no till farming? It is an agricultural technique for growing crops or pasture without disturbing the soil through tillage. No-till farming decreases the amount of soil erosion in certain soil, especially in sandy and dry soils on sloping terrain. 
what are the advantages of zero turbulence that means there should not be no tillage or no plowing advantage what are the advantages less soil erosion from wind and water more fertile and resilient soil less moisture evaporation lower fuel and labor cost so actually sometimes actually this hilly areas it is being practiced so actually they have to 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 avoid soil erosion and other things actually that are actually they without tillage without plowing they actually they are actually they will make some holes and they will plant the seed there so no tillage another is precision farming precision farming is the latest technology pertaining to agriculture what is precision farming precision agriculture it is a new method of farming that tellers inputs of fertilizers that tellers inputs of fertilizers pesticides etc to match the variation in the growing conditions with within the within a field in practice it is known as site specific management it is site specific how much exactly the fertilizer is required how much exactly the actual water is required so actually this is this will supply accordingly it is also called as a digital agriculture this is precision agriculture is otherwise called as a digital agriculture involving very large scale farm farm level mapping com comprehensive database creation on required resources generated through space based inputs and field observation and making a detailed plan of work for maximizing the yield and reducing the cost of input using decision support system that means actually they throw the other exact amount of input actually it will be required they are actually they will be utilizing the exact amount precision agriculture it is otherwise called digital agriculture okay What are the branches of agriculture? Which are the branches of agriculture? Okay, to name a few. Okay, vermiculture, cultivation of earthworms, tissue culture. We will discuss tissue culture, production of new plant from the plant cells, apiculture, study and cultivation of honey bee, horticulture. Okay, study of fruits and vegetables, ornamental horticulture, landscaping, preservation. pomology olericulture floriculture ornamental horticulture sericulture rearing of silk worms moriculture production of mulberry viticulture production of grapes aqua farming fishery then forestry then ranching ranch ranch means actually what is ranching farming system this is very large scale system of livestock rearing which involves keeping farm animals on a large scale and on a large expanse of enclosed land which may be under natural vegetation or planted pastures the animals are allowed to move about and graze freely on the ranch ranch means actually ranch actually in the here india also actually but in hilly areas any actually abroad in america brazil argentina these all these countries the lot of ranches are there so this is livestock livestock they are allowed to actually freely actually the here actually we are giving them their concentrates the livestock actually we are actually allowed this here and our cross breed animals what we are doing here farmers what they are doing actually they are not allowed to move at all so actually only actually they are collecting these fodders fodders and feeding them 
or concentrate they are feeding them so here ranches means actually they are actually normal like actually traditionally like that actually they are allowed to move freely in the ranch another is called nomadic herding nomadic practiced and followed by people of arid or semi arid regions based on rearing of animals or natural pastures they keep moving with their animals in search of natural pastures and lead a nomadic life this is nomadic farming okay okay types of soil we have discussed alluvial soil black soil red soil lactite soil saline alkaline soil okay agriculture inputs seeds fertilizer manure labor like that so we'll just actually have to out as as agriculture officers you will be mostly actually dealing with actually that agriculture crop loans will be actually mostly tractor loans farm mechanization loans crop loans so we'll be dealing with the, these type of loans one actually actually one item actually very prevalent item is the kcc kisan credit card kisan credit card so we'll be dealing with this actually lot of actually you will be hearing from the farmers kcc nowadays kcc kisan credit card is this is a one type of card actually but not like that a normal credit card or debit card normal credit card debit card what will happen actually anywhere you can get it in cash actually debit card means from any atms any bank atm also you can withdraw cash but here it is there is farmers green card a farm kcc it is one type of card card system for the farmers but once it is issued it is valid for 5 years 5 years so subject to annual review subject to annual review okay 5 years it is by once the card is issued it is valid for 5 years okay so what is that this components of kcc kisan credit card kisan credit card what is, why actual this kisan credit card is involved this earlier there is no concept of kisan credit card earlier what was happening crop loans people used to farmers used to avail crop loans from the banks money lenders will be treated equally so to <coughs> avoid the money lenders so banks the banks were there so farmers were taking loans from the when the before the onset of the season the farmers will approach the bank so uh, they will take loans and uh, after the harvest and uh, selling their farm produce they have to repay the bank loans normally it is taken actually uh, nine months actually nine months time is allowed four to five months it is their normal cropping season so then before that they will be for one month for plowing they will be before before the plowing starts when they will take the loan from the bank so then actually four to five months is the cropping season then harvesting then marketing after that actually they will get the fund they will get the amount actually to repay the bank loan okay after actually sometime actually from from for their subsistence they will they will keep keep rest of the amount they will sell in the market so it will in the process it will come up to 7 to 8 months so that is why 9 months time is allowed to was allowed actually allowed to repay the crop loans short term duration crop loans short term we are not talking about this a long duration crop like sugarcane etc banana sugarcane but short duration crop they say this is a more thing mostly actually vegetables cereals pulses cereals pulses millets vegetables so these are the actually most pre- mostly prevalent crops so actually nine months time was allowed to repay so what was happening so again actually the suppose kharif crop kharif crop he has taken after the kharif crop after the selling of the produce he has to repay to the bank okay again rabi crop will start immediately actually rabi crop will start by that time actually he has not hardly actually he has finished his this operation he has sold his lab that farm produce again they say he has to land preparation he has to make for current current ravi season so what will happen where again he has to rush to the bank for further finance for ravi season okay supposing he is getting actually three seasons three seasons are summer season also ravi crop after the harvest 
or marketing, he has to repay the bank loan. Then he has to again approach the bank for financing in the summer season. So what will happen? <coughs> so lot of time was wasted for the, for the, by the farmers by approaching the banks because it is not actually if I, um, once immediately you will go and the banks will give because a lot of documents are required. Banks also they also require some documents or some formalities are also required. So by that time lot of time was wasted <coughs> by the farmers. <coughs> then the RBI has thought this concept of <sighs> the concept of the C, KCC has come out in that way. So that means, like other people, actually, farmers should be also given some card facility. Actually. So they need not time and again they should not go to the bank. Once they will actually, their assessment is done for the entirely for five years. Entire five years, actually, his credit requirement. He is actually for farming, what are the requirement for farming, enter for the five years it will be, the bank has to assess that, assess the requirement for five years actually, <coughs> that immediately for this crop how much it will be there, then actually that will be, for recycling will be there, recycling, that means actually again that will be harvest, there will be harvest, then actually be, then they will go for the rabi crop or there will be summer crop like that, jayad crop, that is jayad, jayad crop, kharif season, rabi season and jayad season. So three seasons, for the three seasons, depending upon whether this farmer is practicing that or not, actually, we have to bank, you actually, this agriculture officers, they will be able to evaluate, depending upon the crop rotation, what is the actually practice prevalent in those areas, whether two crop season or three crop season, depending upon that. So that actually banks, they have to evaluate that proposal. So here KCC, not only that farming requirements, so many other aspects also has to, is taken care of that. What is that actually? One thing as actually earlier crop loans, what were the only thing actually the requirement for the Raising the crop, raising the crop means actually that the, what are the inputs, purchase of seeds, fertilizers, application of manures, intercultural operation, spraying, hmm? insect spraying of insecticides, labor, all the things including harvesting or actually there are actually expenses over there. What are the expenses for that? And even also for marketing, what are the actually fuels? That use of tractor, so that means for cultivation as well, how much amount was required. Because here, this KCC, so many other things are also there. Because one not typical farmer, not only actually he has done, his expenses are, what are they, those expenses? What actually in a year, what he is likely to spend? So spend means actually here, only apart from this cultivation expense, expenses, Sometimes he is using tractor and farm machinery, some machineries, some farm machineries. So actually purchase of fuel is required, fuel, petrol or diesel, okay, so diesel is required. For that actually this provision is also there. So some amount we have to spend here, okay, maintenance of tractors, maintenance, tractor actually may be required, it may require some repairing work, repairing, okay, then then actually, the, then what, what is there actually another thing, maintenance of livestock. So actually one typical farmer will have actually many, maybe two, three cows, he may be actually some goats, he may be there, some poultry animals, he may be there. So these are the actually for their feeds, for their cattle feed or actually goats for the feeds for the goats. So these are also involved in this KCC, okay. So that means that, that means what apart from cultivation expenses, so the farmers have to incur, what, what are the other expenses, maintenance of this farm machineries, maintenance of livestock feeding and maintenance of the livestock, okay, again actually another thing also is there also, the one typical farmer what it is does, he has, to, he has to also spend some amount for his family expenses, family, 
because some several actually rituals are there. It is typical from typical every 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 household. It is there actually some types of agree. Any actually some funeral may be there, some marriage may be there. So actually some some any type sometimes of rituals every time it is it is there. Indian people means so many rituals are all there. So they are. So they are actually these are called conjunction expenses. Conjunction expenses. So these conjunction expenses are also a part of this KCC. But of course, what is there actually? There actually it cannot be exceeding 15% of the total cost. Total how much cost is there? It should be limited to 15%. That means they should not spend lavishly. The farmer should not actually by taking the money, they should not spend lavishly for this. Yes. So, okay, we have actually now come to that KCC. We have actually completed that KCC part. <coughs> so, what are the components of KCC we have already discussed? That means cultivation aspect. Maintenance of farm machineries, maintenance of livestock, feed and maintenance of livestock, as well as the consumption expenses. So these are these constitute the KCC, Kisan Credit Card. Okay. Now we'll move on to the. Uh, Yes. Now, another actually important area is farm mechanization. Okay. Achha, okay. Before coming to farm mechanization, actually, when we are discussing about the KCC, yes, KCC means actually what is the Kisan credit card? It's a timely and adequate credit to farmers at affordable rate. This is started in 1998 by RBI and NABAD. Okay. So when while discussing about the KCC, Kisan credit card, the other actually aspects also we should discuss. What is that? That is Okay, so we'll discuss about cost of cultivation, cost of production and scale of finance. Okay, first actually coming to cost of cultivation. Cost of cultivation means it is the amount required to raise a particular crop from the unit area of land. Cost of cultivation. Supposing actually this is a normally actually one hectare or one acre. One acre. Supposing paddy cultivation. Paddy cultivation. How much cost uh, amount is required to raise starting from actually plowing, starting from plowing, preparing the land, preparing the land, harvest including harvesting and marketing. So that means it includes everything. Application of fertilizers, uh, all the things actually it includes. So this is called actually starting that the amount involved in raising a particular crop from a particular unit area of land. That is basically it is normally hectare or acre. So that means per acre, how much amount is involved. So this is called cost of cultivation. 
So this is coming to cost of production. Cost of production means the amount required involved for for producing producing a particular some certain quantity of a product. That means let us say quintal. So per quintal of a paddy or per quintal of a wheat, how much amount is required to raise that crop? So this is cost of production. Now coming to scale of finance. Scale of finance actually because actually because of our, our people actually the bankers actually mostly actually they will be dealing with this scale of finance. Means scale of finance means scale of finance is derived by deducting margin from the cost of cultivation. Cost of cultivation, so how the per acre, how much amount is required for raising that crop? Margin is required, why? Margin means actually because bank expects that actually some amount, he should actually some contribution on behalf of the farmer should be there. So actually entire amount should not be financed the bank because he should also have some interest. Here actually any entrepreneur, any entrepreneur or any industrial activity, that is called a margin or promoter's contribution, promoter's contribution. In case of industrial activity, business activity is called promotion, a promoter's contribution. Here it is called margin money. Margin money means actually it may be, sometimes actually this family income, family labor also can be included under margin also. Sometimes actually depending upon the large farmer, big farmer, so margin requirement may be more, 25% medium or small and medium farmers, so it will margin requirement is little less, even also 5%. Sometimes it may be nil also, margin. So in that case, but the formula is the cost of cultivation minus margin is scale of finance. So that means it is asked, calculate district wise, it is estimated, who is district in the crop wise and district wise. That means which is the collector is the chairman of this committee, the committee's name is DTC, District Technical Committee, District Technical Committee. Hmm? Previously it was known as a DCC, District Consultative Committee. Now it is told, named as District Technical Committee, wherein the collector is the chairman and other members actually are from the agriculture department and actually some bankers are also there. So in, they are the members of that committee. So they decide the scale of finance of various crops in the particular district. So, so why it is required actually? Because actually, so it is directly ready-made, ready, ready mechanism ready, 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 is available. Supposing some farmer approaches the bank. Actually, so you are the persons responsible for actually finance, giving finance. <coughs> so, so directly you will know that which crop the farmer is going to raise. So and what is the scale of finance for that particular crop. So we can know the actually <coughs> quantum of finance required, required. Supposing some farmers, some farmer, he has approached, he is having some 10 acres land. <coughs> some various actually 10 acres land and he may have actually some 5 acres paddy, 5 acres vegetables or actually Robbie season he is, he is approaching. Different vegetables he may be growing. So some out of that 3 acres potato, 2 acres brinjal. So like that actually some different cabbage, cauliflower actually. So you have to find out who is cauliflower, what is the scale of finance, how many acres. So accordingly we have to arrive at the quantum of finance he is eligible for. Okay. So actually this is actually this is actually for vital for our for bankers' point of view. This is scale of finance he is required. Now, now coming to tractor finance. Tractor actually pump set, tractors, combined harvester, thresers. This is farm machineries. Sometimes actually, actually that's a view my um, uh, bankers actually you will be required to finance this. This actually depending upon the requirement of the farmers, requirement of the locality. Farm mechanization. Farm mechanization is one of the aspects actually for to improving the agriculture finance. So tractor very often banks this is finances tractors 
सो व्हाट आर द एल इज द क्वेश्चन मे बी फॉर फॉर गिविंग ए ट्रैक्टर लोन व्हाट आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया और एक्चुअली हू आर एलिजिबल टू टेक ट्रैक्टर लोन ऑल दी फार्मर्स एक्चुअली बडी कैन नट एक्चुअली गेट अवेल ट्रैक्टर लोन सो फर दैट सम एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया मस्ट बी देयर सो व्हाट आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो दि सो देर आर एक्चुअली ट्रैक्टर्स नॉर्मली अप टू थर्ट फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर एंड मोर दैन थर्ट फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर फर फार्मिंग फार्मिंग एक्चुअली दिस इज एक्चुअली दि पटलींग पटलींग एक्चुअली फार्मिंग हेरोज एक्चुअली दिस हेरोज कल्टिवेटर्स ड्रईंग पुली और एक्चुअली सी ड्रिल्स दिज आस ट्रैक्टर्स विल भी लिंक्ड विथ दिस सी ड्रिल्स हेरोज कल्टिवेटर्स लाइक दैट ट्रेलर्स ऑल्सो ट्रेलर्स ट्रॉलीज सो फर दैट थर्ट फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर इज अल्सो मतलब मोस्टली एक्चुअली थर्ट फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर इज भी एक्चुअली प्रिवेलेंट समटाइम्स अल्सो एक्चुअली हायर एच पी ट्रैक्टर मोर देन थर्ट फाइव एन से अप टू फिफ्टी फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर अल्सो आर सो फाइनान्स सो तो अप टू थर्ट फाइव एकर्स एच पी ट्रैक्टर दि फार्मर सुड हाव ए मिनिमम फोर एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड दि फार्मर मस्ट हाव फोर एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड इज जस्ट माइंड इट पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड और इक्वेलेंट ड्राई और सेमी इरीगेटेड लैंड सो दि क्राइटे मस्ट भी एक्चुअली फोर एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड ओके फर एब थर्ट फाइव एच पी ट्रैक्टर द फार्मर सुड हाव सिक्स एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड और करस्पिंग एकर्स अफ ड्राई लैंड और सीजनाली इरीगेटेड लैंड सो अप टू थर्ट फाइव एकर्स व्हाट फोर एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड एबव थर्ट फाइव एकर्स सिक्स एकर्स अफ पेरिनियली इरीगेटेड लैंड और इक्वेलेंट ड्राई लैंड और सीजनाल इरीगेटेड लैंड ओके अनदर क्राइटेरिया इज अल्सो दे आर बिकज एक्चुअली वी हाव टू हियर वी हाव टू कम टू एक्चुअली टेक्निकाल फिजिबिलिटी एंड इकोनोमिक भाइबिलिटी अफ दि प्रपोजाल एनी एक्चुअली प्रपोजाल एनीथिंग एक्चुअली एनी प्रोजेक्ट वी आर फाइनान्सींग एनी प्रपोजाल लोन प्रपोजाल और लोन प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हाव टू थिंक अबाउट डिस्कस अबाउट वी हाव टू दि टेक्निकाल फिजिबिलिटी और इकोनोमिक भाइबिलिटी दैट मीनस एक्चुअली व्वेदर दि ट्रैक्टर विल भी भाएबुल इन हिज फार्म सो वेदर यू विल भी एबुल टू रिपे दि लोन और नट That is the economic viability. Technically, is feasible also. Technically means actually whether that the land is so either suitable for not or not uh, not. So and that the whether sufficient irrigation facilities there or some raw materials are available or not. The infrastructure facilities are available or not. Climate is suitable or not. These are the technical aspects. Economic viability means whether how much the income surplus, how much it will be there, whether he will be able to repay the loan or not. so it is estimated that it is estimated that the farmer should the tractor for a viable proposal the tractor should be used for at least 1000 hours in a year in a year 1000 hours of tractor use should be there subject to minimum of 500 hours in the in his own farm so that actually that we have told minimum actually that the four acres of perennial irrigated land but the if you discuss about the economic viability so then actually it is 1000 hours of tractor use should be there subject to minimum of 500 hours in his own farm own farm means actually he is starting from cultivation transporting anything sometimes also even also some farmers may not have actually this is a, some yardstick actually some basis we have given Sometimes actually even four acres, six acres land he may not have actually a little less, but there is sufficient scope for hiring, hiring, hiring of income. Hiring means but because actually trans tractor is also utilized for transportation purpose, transportation of bricks, cement, suppose manures. Uh, that actually there so many aspects actually there so many uh, uh, agriculture produces transportation of agriculture produces. ओके मैन्युअर सेंसर्स ऑफ मैन्युअर टू द फील्ड द ट्रैक्टर्स आर यूज्ड सो एक्चुअली देयर एक्चुअली दे कैन बी द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ अ सैंड ब्रिक्स सो मेनी थिंग्स आर आल्सो देयर 
So for construction, construction work also, tractors are being in rural area, tractors are in much of a use. So here actually, exactly per hour, actually hiring income must be there. But sometimes also, if there is a less scope for this, actually that in the land, land actually land use it is less scope is there, but sufficient hiring scope is there. So there also the tractor is also viable. But actually in that case, actually that is a dependent, depend, different banks, they are having different system. So this is actually, that is a yardstick we have told, 35 SP tractor, 4 acres perennially irrigated land. Supposing he is having less than that actually land, actually the sub may not be, maybe that actually branch may not have any power to sanction the loan, it may be sanctioned by the next higher level. So but actually this is the basis. Okay. So cost of cultivation, cost of production, we have discussed, scale of finance, we have discussed. Okay. Hmm. Now actually coming to this MSP and procurement price. MSP is a minimum support price. MSP minimum support price is announced before the crop sowing. This is the price at which government is required to buy the crop, whether the market price is less or more. Government of India announced this in since 1966-67 every year it is being announced. Procurement price is announced after the harvest and is higher than MSP. Okay, this is the MSP and a procurement price. We can discuss about intensive agriculture and extensive agriculture. or intensive farming and a extensive farming. Okay. Intensive agriculture is the maximization of yields from a available land through various means such as heavy use of chemical, fertilizers, pesticides characterized by low fallow ratio. Extensive agriculture means agricultural production system that use a small inputs of labor, fertilizers, capital, relative to the land area being farmed. That means actually, actually if you use actually more quantity of inputs, more quantity of inputs, fertilizers, pesticides, so like that actually the two give, so to have a more yield, so it is actually from a particular area, you actually by applying actually the same area is there actually, by applying actually various um, more inputs, you actually maximize the production, is the intensive agriculture, and extensive agriculture means by area is same or more, but that actually inputs actually fertilizer, chemical. So actually it is used in a lesser quantity. So it is extensive agriculture. Okay. One term is there stress hormones. Stress hormone. One actually in agriculture, one is there actually stress hormone because actually stress. So which is called a stress hormone? Abscisic acids. Abscisic acid is also called stress hormone. As it induces various responses in plants against stress conditions, it increases, increases the tolerance of plants towards various stresses. It induce, induces closure of stomata during water stress. Closure of stomata during various stress conditions. Wherever water requirement, actually water availability is less. So it closes the stomata. It, it induces closure of stomata during water stress. It promotes seed dormancy and ensures seed germination during favorable conditions, also known as dormin. It is best known as a plant hormone. Abscisic acid functions in many plants developmental, developmental processes, including seed and bore dormancy. Abscisic acid patents in 
agriculture and horticulture used for promoting fruit set and producing parthenocarpic fruits also used as a growth inhibitor. Okay, so abscisic acid that is a stress hormone. The question may be actually that what is the called stress hormone area agriculture. So this is abscisic acid. Okay. We have discussed about bisexual flower, monoecious plant, diverseous plant, cost of production and cost of cultivation. Law of diminishing return. Questions may be there again in whether the what is the law of diminishing return? So in economics, diminishing return is the decrease in the marginal output of a production process at as the amount of a single factor of production is incrementally increased while the amount of all other factors of production stay constant. Law explains that when more and more units of a variable input as employed in a given on a given quantity of fixed input, the total output may initially increase as a increasing rate and then at a constant rate, but it will eventually increase at a diminishing rate. So this is called diminishing return. So in agriculture, it is very much pertinent. This law of diminishing return is very much pertinent because actually, supposing what are the inputs? Supposing fertilizer is the input, keeping all other in input constant. If you use, supposing actually urea, DAP, you use actually for one quintal of urea in a particular one hectare of land or one acre of land. So by increasing actually, so the, some part particular production is there. By increasing actually by 10 kg, 10 kg actually if you increase, so what will be there actually, their production may be less, a more, so production may be more, by increase, so by increasing input, input, keeping all other uh, variables constant. So one factor of production, you increase, then actually there will be increase in the production. So actually at a part, up to a certain level, it will increase at a increasing rate, but actually after a certain point, it will start decreasing. It will be, become constant, then it will become decreasing rate. That means by employing, by uh, uh, applying more inputs, it is of no use. It will actually, it will increase, of course it will increase, at a decreasing rate. So this agriculture is very much pertinent. Banks also, it is also pertinent. So this law of diminishing return also in banks also it is better. Supposing actually banks we are doing for business, what is the objective of the bank? Objective of the bank to have profit. What are the functions of the bank? They actually they take deposit from public or accepting deposits, main functions, accepting deposit and lending. So what happens? So ultimately actually by giving actually accepting deposit at a comparatively reasonably lower rate and giving loans at a reasonably comparatively higher rate. So in the process bank earn profit for that. So ultimate objective of the bank is to make profit. But profit comes from where actually? Businesses. So more business means more profit. So supposing one branch, bank branch is there, having actually 10 persons are actually employed there. One bank manager, Officers, agriculture officers like you, one agriculture, one normal officers, uh, general officer, two or three clerks. So like that actually is having 10 staff. Okay. So actually, maybe actually this is optimum actually. For actually, then actually in the days to come, so business has also increased. So they see 10 people, they are not capable to handle the business actually. So actually they are actually, they are, there is a quite loss is there. So what will happen? Quite raw is there, people will be, customers will be dissatisfied. So they will start closing their accounts. So what actually what we have to do? We have to employ further staff. Further staff means actually to, <coughs> to manage the customer's flow. 
customers actually they, so we have to in deploy additional staff so additional supposing actually one staff we have to increase two staff so how much staff we can give so that actually there should be a optimum level but after that actually what will they will go on increasing this number of staff so what will be there their actually business may will increase but it will increase at a decreasing speed so that means actually some we have to arrive at the optimum level sometimes actually there is you see actually if they like that in commerce it is called break even break even break even it is called actually at a particular level actually this profit and loss will be same hmm. after that actually from initially for any industrial activity or any business initially the investment will be more so in that case actually that actually that much income is not that much commensurate commensurate so actually initially there will be loss but actually slowly when the business grows so at the the profit will be increasing so at a particular point of time there will be a break even or actually there will be no loss no profit but after that actually it will go on increasing we have discussed about parthana karpi this year, while you discussing about abscessing stress hormone we have discussed about parthana karpi what is parthana karpi it is a production of a fruit from the unfertilized ovules in plants no seeds parthenogenesis type of reproduction in which the ovum develops into individual without fertilization this is parthenocarpy which are actually because mostly grapes you see parthenocarpy is practiced grapes seedless parthenocarpy where it is where you want actually guava more seeds are not desirable because actually it tastes it is awkward actually while taking actually the fruit if it is actually less number of seeds or seeds are negligible or nil then it is it is good it attracts with a higher price so like that guava grapes grapes actually we don't like the seed inside if there seed is there that price of the grape will be less so this is by it is developed by means of parthenocarpy then we will go actually there actually just so much technicality is there actually types of propagation types of propagation means what is the layering asexual method of propagation asexual method of propagation sexual method means by seeds by seeds means actually this is sexual method of propagation asexual method of propagation means what are the by cutting layering division budding grafting so there are what are the different types of buddings are there you are knowing actually i am not going to discuss all the things okay but you may the vineyard grafting that there are types of grafting different types of grafting are there that you should know that what are the vineyard grafting wedge grafting saddle grafting whip grafting stone grafting soft wood grafting like that actually then actually this is grafting means it involves upper part is called sion sion of the one plant grows on the root stock of another plant sion attach methods simple so like the tongue simple saddle tongue sion attach methods vineyard wedge saddle whip stone grafting soft wood as a budding likewise budding also only buds is used rather than piece of sion with several buds tea budding actually different actually particular rose rose actually this is budding as also practiced to we might have seen actually that actually one rose plant several multiple colors actually you will see actually by budding it is practiced now come to soil erosion and the soil conservation soil erosion and soil conservation soil erosion is its effects and the prevention soil erosion is the displacement of upper upper layer of soil one one form of soil degradation this natural process is caused by activity of erosive erosive agents that is water wind ice snow plants animals and humans soil erosion okay soil conservation preventing the soil loss from erosion on or reduced fertility caused by over uses 
एसिडिफिकेशन सालानाइजेशन और अदर सॉइल कंटामिनेशन मेथड्स क्रॉप रोटेशन कवर क्रॉप्स विंड ब्रेकर्स दे आर यूज्ड फॉर सॉइल कंजर्वेशन सॉइल कंजर्वेशन यू मैट हैव सीन एक्चुअली दिस एम्बैकमेंट्स केनाल एम्बैकमेंट्स केनाल एम्बैकमेंट से लैट लॉट ऑफ कोकोनट प्लांटेशन विल बी देयर वाई एक्चुअली दिस कोकोनट वाई मैंगो ट्री इज नॉट प्लांटेड वाई कोकोनट ट्रीज आर प्लांटेड इन कोक दिस केनाल एम्बैकमेंट्स ओके देर इज Why actually? Because there is a two types of root system. One is the tap root system, another is the fibrous root system. Okay, so fibrous tap root system, mango. This is called having a tap root. This coconuts. This is our paddy, wheat. This is a fibrous root system. So why actually? Because they are preferred coconuts having. This is actually fibrous root system. That means the roots they will be binding this bind the soil, so that it will be to prevent the soil erosion. This actually this will be helpful. This fibrous root system will be helpful for prevention of soil erosion in that area. So this canal, this canal actually this is coconut plantation is preferred. another term is what is actually intensive that is sustainable agriculture sustainable agriculture nowadays is because actually that more of more number of actually you the by uh, use of chemical fertilizers the land the texture of land is destroyed to avoid actually that to avoid that actually now now since the scientists they are advocating the agriculture scientists they are advocating what sustainable agriculture what it is rest on principle that we must meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs every person involved in the food system grower food system that means growers food processors distributors retailers consumers and waste managers can play a role in ensuring the sustainable agriculture system growers may use methods to promote soil health minimize water use and lower pollution level in the farm okay so this is sustainable agriculture soil health card soil health card now it is a lot of things actually how to actually how to collect the soil samples who about somebody supposing somebody is yeah, you are actually someone doing post graduation or have done post graduate in soil science so you may expect some questions on soil 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 science so like that actually you should be prepared anyway we see these are the simple questions in undergraduate level all these actually are been taught so actually but when some people some persons are specialized in some subject so questions may be asked from that angle another is actually genetically modified crops gm crops or gm seeds so biologically they are examples acha what are the examples of sustainable agriculture recycling crop waste animal manure collection of rain water and utilizing for irrigation crop rotation and diversity planting cover crops integrating livestock and crops agroforestry okay these are the examples of sustainable agriculture now actually we are talking about genetically modified crops this is dna of the crop is modified dna itself is modified genetical crops modified crops means are plants used in agriculture the dna of which has been genetically modified to introduce a new trait अच्छा एगेन एक्चुअली अनदर एक्चुअली आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इन एग्रीकल्चर न्यू आस्पेक्ट एक्चुअली एग्री टूरिज्म एग्री टूरिज्म इट इज ए न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर टूरिज्म यू एवरीबडी एक्चुअली देसी टूरिज्म मीन सी एक्चुअली वी कैन पीपल आर अट्रैक्टेड बाय व्हाट एक्चुअली नेचुरल सीनेरीज टेम्पल्स इन यू सपोजिंग इन आवर प्लेस ओडिशा 
so actually there are a lot of temples people are also attracted the, uh, towards uh, that so tourism also it is given importance some places actually this is natural scenery mountaineers mountainous zones rivers of pump uh, pump flow uh, that uh, sea so actually people come to actually to have fun and uh, recreation people actually enjoy and actually this is a part of the tourism but latest concept is last is agri tourism agri tourism is actually people are no so much urban oriented urban oriented means actually they are only confined to urban they have not seen the rural place actually even actually some place people they have not seen the rice plant actually paddy plant nobody has seen so actually because from the beginning actually they are of their upbringing is there in urban areas so there is no scope to see this in the rural atmosphere so this is agri tourism is the latest concept of tourism industry gives opportunity to experience the rural life i agree personally i so when i was in one haryana one place branch i was working so i feel that one farmer actually we have financed for agri tourism so that is he is a licensed farmer by the haryana government for agri tourism since it is rohtak it is that plus is rohtak so it is nearer to delhi so foreign tourist actually he was actually having actually getting foreign tourists foreign tourist so we have financed some different that vehicles so he was getting these foreign tourists so actually his website is there website people are seeing that actually that actually authorized uh, 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 is the authorized actually that uh, person for that agri tourism so what he used to do actually he will be collecting the persons from the actually airport itself for an mostly foreigners mostly foreigners or actually city dwellers actually those who have not having any access to the rural areas so he will be bringing them and he has a actually a big pond lot of fishes prawns dogs are there poultry farm is there mane actually that entire thing actually actually that the goats are there so see as have some boats he has in the pond actually big pond is there he is having boat people who actually used to go to for fishing people used to go for fishing they will catch the fish actually that live live fishes they will catch so actually that those fishes they will bring for a cooking purpose so actually then one actually one area is your part for different spices and condiments different spices spice plant and different actually cultivation is taking as around 20 acres land is there so entire area entire area actually it is typical actually agriculture i mean rural life cycle you will see and he is having some ac rooms he is having he will be organizing this rural folk songs rural sports he will be organizing rural because even again this is city people they have not seen this rural kabadi this is actually the gilli danda gilli danda this is a rural sports these are rural sports actually normally there is no scope for these urban people to see all those things so it is something unique so this is actually now that this is agri tourism is being developed another is the biological method of pest control ipm another is the ipm integrated pest management integrated pest management what is the ipm integrated pest management it is a process where in ipm integrated pest management it is a process where the problems can be solved while minimizing the risk of to people and the environment 
IPM, Integrated Pest Management, is an effective and environmentally sensitive approach to pest management. Life cycle of a pest and their interaction with the environment has to be studied. So here actually that actually it is integrated without compromising the, the minimizing the risk for the people and the environment. This because now what is there? they say this uh, indiscriminate use of this chemical pesticides. Pesticides is actually creates health hazards to the people. They actually they are different actually to the cattle also. Supposing a spraying, spraying actually, actually they, were, they do not know actually what is the amount to be spread. The proper quantity people, the farmers do not understand. So what they do actually, they spray actually so that actually any heavy quantity, sometimes actually this crop also damaged, sometimes the cattle actually, sometimes the vile gazing, they also, they also actually, that is a problem for them actually, sometimes they are killed also. Hmm. So, so integrated pest management actually to without compromising the risk actually that actually we have to think think actually that actually that is a judicious use of judicious use of chemical pesticides pesticides you have to use judiciously another is the biological method of pest control biological control is a method of controlling pest such as insect mites weeds and plant diseases using other organisms so it relies on the what is the it relies on the predation, predation, parasitism, herbivory, and other natural mechanism. Mostly actually they actually see the supposing coconut is a very biological method of pest control, is very much uh, practiced there. Because actually very this height of the tree is very high. The height is very high, so that actually we cannot use spraying also. Like by sprayers, what is there actually? How much actually it cannot reach? to that level. So what they do actually, they actually some pesticides, some actually some predators, they leave actually they, some predators. So ultimately they will actually kill those, they will eat or kill those, these parasites. This is biological method of pest control. while the talking about that technology because actually sometimes actually agriculture is much developed in a lab to land program lot of development is taking place a lot of research is taking place in agriculture lot of new varieties are developed high yielding disease and pest disease resistant varieties are evolved but actually this actually down the level it is not percolating down the level so only actually that means agriculture it is in the research level laboratory level it is remaining actually so it is so to avoid that actually see here there is a work of agriculture extension is required so what actually five stages of technology that is a in the dissemination of technology so that means there is a need need of dissemination of agriculture technology from the laboratory to land to the farmers level so what is the problem actually hindrance here hindrance here actually our people are not that much educated so and or actually they don't want to take that risk so that is why so that is it is called five stages of technological technology adoption or dissemination five there are five stages who are one everest everett rogers everett rogers he has identified five persons for technology adoption Five persons he has adopted. Who are the five persons? The first one is the innovators. Innovators. Innovators means actually supposing on a new variety is evolved in laboratory. So actually then actually after certain test, test actually you might know the foundation seed, certified seed, all the things you must be knowing. Okay. So actually that actually some seed is evolved or actually some variety is evolved actually the drought resistant or actually that actually it is the um, to, to some disease resistant or actually some quality actually some it's the quality is improved so that actually we have to actually instead of this it, uh, following this traditional method or following this traditional seeds so actually this actually improved practice is required to be followed so what actually who can do the for that only innovators, only innovators they can afford to that because it involves actually risk is there. 
here actually whether actually they have to take some risk because it is actually some age old practice is there so they are the farmers are following that so when actually then actually one new practice is they are developed or they want to implement so the risk is there actually nobody can bear to take that risk so only innovators or big farmers or i will go there are innovators they can take that risk so then actually first category is innovators second category is early adopters okay early innovators it is not about actually they may not risk but after seeing that actually so they will actually another second category of people are there they are called early adopters early adopters then another is actually early majority early second third category is early majority that means actually is actually some majority major major people actually they will start actually they are actually early majority at least actually not too much actually actually not too late so at least actually the early majority people they will follow that practice then another is the late majority late majority who oh, actually that actually after actually they will see everything they will see actually then actually only some years first year second year third year actually they will five ten years they will see okay actually this is uh, variety is giving more higher yield or what actually so they will let majority they will after seeing all the actually they give several years then only they will after much convincing then they will start practicing that who are the last one laggards laggards actually means actually they will not actually they even still also they are they are seeing actually everything but still also they are actually not following that practice so they are called laggards so what are the five stages five stages actually people involved in the five stages are called five persons in the technology adoption process or technology dissemination process is innovators early adopters early majority late majority and laggards acha we sometimes some questions are there actually tell some name of some exotic flowers exotic flowers so to name some exotic flowers was tulip orchid li lilac lily carnation lily means not likely our coin flower lily carnation zorbera gladiolus zinnia and dahlia these are called exotic flowers and the some flowers are suitable for cot flowers cot flowers which are the flowers suitable for cloud cot flowers lily sunflower rose tulip gladiolus sweet pea dianthus calendula lavender these are the actually some of the flowers they are suitable for cot flowers okay sometimes actually that this uh, interview board actually sometimes actually some plants indoor plants will be placed so what what they, they will be ask can you identify these plants which are the tart plants actually placed suitable for indoor plant indoor plants indoor plants in the inside the house it can be kept what are the characteristics of those plants that means those plants should have what actually they should withstand actually sun, they should with the shed condition they should grow but most important is actually they should liberate oxygen because actually what are the major the characteristics of trees normal trees big trees what they do day time actually they take carbon dioxide and release oxygen but night time what they do banyan tree what they actually it is advisable that banyan under the banyan tree night nobody should sleep nobody actually should sleep actually there are passers by sometimes in early days <coughs> passers by used to sleep beneath the tree below the tree so it is in night time it is not advisable why because night time they releases carbon dioxide they release 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है बिकॉज दे टाइम दे टेक ऑक्सीजन दे दे टेक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज ऑक्सीजन नाइट टाइम एक्चुअली दे रिलीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो इट विल बी प्रॉब्लम फॉर ब्रीदिंग फॉर ब्रीदिंग इट विल बी प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट शुड बी दुअली आइडियल कैरेक्टर ऑफ द इंडोर प्लांट्स मीन्स दैट मीन्स दे आर शुड बी देर देर शुड बी दे शुड रिलीज ऑक्सीजन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दे शुड रिलीज ऑक्सीजन सीधर दे दिस इज द आइडियल कैरेक्टर सिक्स ऑफ इंडोर प्लांट्स सो हुई आर दि प्लांट सुइटेबल फॉर दैट नंबर वन इज व्हाट स्नेक प्लांट स्नेक प्लांट प्लांट्स एक्चुअली दैट आर एमिट ऑक्सीजन इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स स्नेक प्लांट एरिकापम मनी प्लांट आलोभेरा तुलसी जरबेरा नीम पीपल और किट सो दो जो एक्चुअली प्लांट्स दुज आर दुज आर दि प्लांट्स स्नेक प्लांट एरिका पम मनी प्लांट आलोवेरा तुलसी जरबेरा नीम पीपल और किट ओके नीम एंड पीपल वी कैन नॉट प्लेस इन साइड बट एक्चुअली समटाइम्स बोनसाई ऑल्सो इज पॉसिबल ओके बट दीज आर दि प्लांट्स एक्चुअली सुइटेबल इंडोर प्लांट्स ओके एरिका पम एरिका पम विल ओके दिस आर दि थिंग्स दिस आर गोल्डन दिज आर ऑल्सो नोन एज गोल्डन केम पम ओके ठीक है ऑल राइट एक्चुअली बिकॉज विल नॉट गो फर्दर डीप इन टू इट देट वाट आर दि बट दीज आर दि प्लांट्स दे रिलीजेस एक्चुअली ऑक्सीजन एक्चुअली इन द नाइट ओके दे समटाइम्स एक्चुअली स्नेक प्लांट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल द मदर इन टंग प्लांट इट इज प्यूरीफाइज दि एयर ऑल्सो प्यूरीफाइज ऑक्सीजन ऑल्सो टीशू कल्चर इट इज ए एडवांस वे ऑफ जेनेटिंग प्लांट्स एक्चुअली इट इज ए मेथड ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल रिसर्च इट इज ए मेथड ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल रिसर्च इन हुईज फ्रैगमेंट्स ऑफ टिश्यू फ्रॉम एन एनिमल और प्लांट आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू एन आर्टिफिशियल एनवायरनमेंट इन हुईज दे कैन कंटिन्यू टू सर्वाइव एंड फंक्शन द कल्चर्ड टिश्यू मे कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सिंगल सेल ए पॉपुलेशन ऑफ सेल्स और ए और ए होल और ए पार्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गन टिश्यू कल्चर इज यूज टू क्विकली रिप्रोड्यूस प्लांट्स विदाउट रिक्वायरिंग सीड्स ट्यूबर्स एंड बल्ब इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज टू रिप्रोड्यूस एंडेंजर्ड प्लांट्स दैट मे नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोड्यूस एनफ ब्लूम्स और सीड्स टू रिप्रोड्यूस नेचुरली ओके टिश्यू कल्चर एक्चुअली इट इज ए एडवांस एक्चुअली बट इट इज ए कॉस्टली लॉट ऑफ दैट इज वाई एक्चुअली टिश्यू कल्चर इज नॉट ऑफ मच यूज बट इट इज ओनली कन्फाइंड फॉर दि टू दि लबोरेटरी बट इन दि कमर्सील यूज एक्चुअली इट इज नट अफ मच यूज बिकज ड्यू टू कस्ट आसपेक्ट बट एक्चुअली बट दिस इज ए टेक्निकली इट इज फिजिबुल इट इज भेरी सेफ सेफ एंड क्विकली एक्चुअली इट कैन भी एक्चुअली दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन कैन बी डन एंड एक्चुअली भेरी सेफ हुए एंड एक्चुअली भेरी दैट द क्वालिटी अल्सो विल बी मेन्टेन्ड कमिंग टू एडिबुल पार्टस अफ भेरियस प्लांट जर दि एडिबुल पार्टस वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन एडिबुल पार्टस एडिबुल पार्ट कैन बी देर एक्चुअली वेदर लिव कैन बी एडिबुल स्टेम कैन बी एडिबुल फ्रूट इज एडिबुल सीड इज एडिबुल रूट इज एडिबुल सो वेयर एक्चुअली वेयर तो सो वे हैव टू फाइंड आउट एक्चुअली वेयर एक्चुअली सो हू आर दि सीड्स फ्रूट्स लिव्स स्टेम रूट फ्लावर दिज आर एक्चुअली डिफरेन्ट क्रप्स सो डिफरेन्ट सेगमेंट्स आर एक्चुअली एक्चुअली यूटिलाइज फर 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 देयर कंजप्शन फर ह्यूमेन कंजप्शन व्हाट इज एक्चुअली सपोजिंग पोटाटो ट्यूबर इज दे इज कल ट्यूबर द एडिबुल पार्ट इज ट्यूबर नॉट रूट सपोजिंग स्टेम 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 मीन्स व्हाट एक्चुअली व्हाट इज द वेयर द स्टेम इज एडिबुल हुईज क्रॉप एक्चुअली सपोजिंग एक्चुअली सपोज क्वेश्चन इज देयर राइट फॉर यू 
where the stem name some crops where the stem is the edible edible stem is where is the edible sugar can actually sugar can with this stem sugar can is stem stem is the edible part okay celery asparagus bamboo shoot then ginger ginger colocasia colocasia taro or arum ginger this is rhizome rhizome is the part actually here actually stem or modified stem is the edible bulb bulb where is the actually onion garlic is the bulb is the edible part like that tulip tulip is the actually what actually tulip is that actually reproduced by bulbs tulip okay where the leaves are edible which are the crop plants or crops where the leaves are edible cabbage celery like that spinach then where the roots are edible where the roots roots means carrot radish beet sweet potato like that okay where the fruits fruits means actually brinjal mostly fruits are fruits and seeds actually that many uh, plants are there flower is the broccoli cauliflower is a flower this that means immature flower broccoli actually broccoli cauliflower like that immature flower is the edible part the white cauliflower the white portion is called cod cod is called cod so this is edible pod with seed okra lady's finger so like that actually these are the some of the edible parts of the different plants sometimes p we have discussed p p means actually we know garden p sometimes actually question is there actually chick p what is chick p what is pigeon p what is garden p what is cow p what is the p not p not this so all are different okay so actually that you said cow p p not garden p pigeon p chick p okay what is the anthesis you must be knowing when actually the flowers are fully open for fertilization so anthesis anthesis means mostly early morning or very actually basically this most of the flowers the anthesis actually is at early morning hours morning hours okay what is the inbreeding depression and the hybrid seeds hybrid seeds inbreeding depression and the hybrid vigor inbreeding depression is actually more uh, is the reduced biological fitness in a given population as a result of inbreeding or breeding of related individuals so in actually human beings also also this inbreeding depression is there so that is why actually the same caste the close relatives this marriage is not permitted or it is not advocated why actually this is due to inbreeding depression this is actually close close individuals so this is called that will be inbreeding so actually there will be different diseases actually some problems will be there actually so inbreeding depression it is a reduced biological fitness in a given population as a result of inbreeding or breeding of related individuals okay so in contrast to that what is hybrid vigor hybrid vigor means heterosis or outbreeding and enhancement is the improved or enhanced this is a decreased reduced this is improved or enhanced function of any biological quality in a hybrid offspring traits of offspring enhanced due to mixing of a genetic contribute contributions of parents so that means from the both the parents actually this is enhanced quality actually is there hybrid vigor hybrid vigor is called hybrid vigor hybrid seeds hybrid seeds actually they are actually the high quality is there the um, uh, they, they, they exhibit this hybrid vigor hybrid seeds but only the problem is that this hybrid seeds actually you cannot actually tell it from the it it cannot maintain this perpetuality it cannot maintain the 
perpetuality if you sow the seeds see they are offspring actually they are actually the seeds you will sow then actually it will it will not actually that much that will not exhibit their similar characteristics band kariya na kon satral band kariya what is self pollination and what is cross pollination सेल पॉलिनेशन एंड क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन दैट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलिन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम दी आंथर टू दी स्टिग्मा ऑफ दी सेम फ्लावर एग्जांपल लेगुम्स ऑर्किड्स पीज सनफ्लावर व्हीट राइस बार्ली टोमेटो एंड पोटैटो ओके सो एक्चुअली दिस वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू दिस यू नो ऑल दी थिंग्स क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलिन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम दी anthar of a flower to the stigma of a flower of the different plant of the same species what the agents for the cross pollination what are the agents insects apple grape plum pear raspberry raw strawberry blackberry runner's berry pumpkin tulip etc by wind maple tree grass transfer by wind insect water animals etc sir these are the agents of cross pollination okay which are called crash crops crash crops are those crops which are primarily for use for sales commerce commercial use not for actual domestic uses which are the crops actually which move up example some crash crops पोटैटो टबाको सुगर केन लाइक दैट एक्चुअली दीज आर क्या क्रॉप्स अनदर टर्म एक्चुअली दैट वी हैव वर्ल्स इन द इनिशियल यू हैव डिस्कस्ड आर आई डी एफ दिस इज कॉल्ड रूरल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड ऑफ नाबार्ड दिस इज नाबार्ड एक्चुअली आर आई डी एफ वो एक्चुअली इनिशियल यू टोल दिस एग्रिकल्चर इज मोस्ट भाइटाल एक्चुअली दिस इज वन अफ दि प्रायोरीटी सेक्टर्स एग्रिकल्चर इज वन अफ दि प्रायोरीटी सेक्टर्स बिकज इज ए भाइटाल फर दि इकोनोमिक डेवलपमेंट अफ दि नेसन ओके वी एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दट ए फास्ट एक्चुअली दट ए रोल अफ दिस banks in economic development actually i think we have not discussed anyway actually just i will touch this point role of banks in economic development do you feel that actually that actually whether the banks play role in economic development in the nation of course yes because actually banks play a major role in economic development of the nation so how they play a role how they play a role mane actually they actually now and they actually play a leading role in actually in farm that they actually mobilizing the savings from the people mobilizing savings from the people savings habit of the people then actually providing various loans various loans actually to various various persons means farmers to agri loans to agriculture industry infrastructure business so actually they provides actually that actually without name anything anything without bank actually that the roads the in, what is the development of the symbol of development sign of development means there should be actually lot of infrastructure development should there roads must be good there should be airports must be there ports must be there ports must be there good roads communication facility 5g network all these things actually that actually what actually for actually banks are also involved here bank they need finance from the bank so banks play a role because they actually irrigation facility agriculture agriculture actually irrigation will lot of these major dams major dams actually is a very heavy investment is there so here banks play a role so infrastructure development infrastructure development unless infrastructure is developed actually the country cannot economic development cannot be there okay so actually here banks play a greater role in economic development of the nation another thing actually this purchasing power of the people should be increased how the purchasing power will be increased 
बिकॉज एक्चुअली वर्थ एनफ मनी शुड बी अवेलेबल विद द हैंड्स ऑफ द पब्लिक सो हाउ एक्चुअली द बैंक एक्चुअली दे वॉट एक्चुअली दे दे पर्सनल लोन्स दे गिव एक्चुअली पर्सनल कार्स फॉर कार्स फॉर स्कूटर्स मोटरसाइकल होम लोन्स हाउसिंग लोन एजुकेशन लोन दे गिव सो एक्चुअली बाई इन द प्रोसेस एक्चुअली दे एक्चुअली डेवलप द पर्सनस दे एक्चुअली दे दे विल मोर मनी शुड बी अवेलेबल विद द हैंड्स ऑफ द पब्लिक सो दैट एक्चुअली दे विल बी हैविंग मोर परचेजिंग पावर दे एक्चुअली सो दनलेस दि पीपुल आर हैविंग मोर परचेजिंग पावर मार्केट कैन नट ऑल्सो डेवलप वेर इज हाफ ऑफ द मार्केट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ दि पीपुल सो वर दे एक्चुअली फर टू गोइंग टू दि मार्केट द पीपुल विदउट पीपुल एक्चुअली हाउ मार्केट मल्स हाउ दे परफॉर्म सो मल्स एक्चुअली मल्स डिफरेन्ट मार्केट्स दे आर सिम्बल अफ इकोनोमिक डेवलपमेंट so this by giving actually finance personal loans by providing various loans in to the public so they increase the purchasing power of the people okay so coming to our agriculture agriculture we are talking about that this agriculture is actually most there are eight priority sectors eight priority sectors actually this government has identified आर बी आई एंड गवर्नमेंट दे हाव आईडेंटिफाइड देर सो भी एट प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर्स कंपोनेंट्स प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर मीन्स एक्चुअली देर देर सुड भी गिव इन प्रायोरिटी प्रायोरिटी ओवर अदर्स बिकॉज एक्चुअली देर द बैंक्स इन इनिशियल यू टेल एक्चुअली व्हाट बैंक्स आर मोर इंटरेस्टेड फॉर द प्रॉफिट दे आर दे सो बट गवर्नमेंट इज थिंकिंग एक्चुअली देट देर सुड भी मोर डिस्पारिटी शुड नट भी देर रिजनाल इम्बालांसेस सुड मस्ट नट भी देर people actually there should be quick economic development that is actually the policy of a fiscal policy so what they actually is there actually so that they have identified eight priority sector sectors where agriculture is the top most agriculture msme then home loans social infrastructure education loans so like that so actually sir eight sir eight priority sectors are there out of that agriculture is the top most and 40% should be earmarked for for what priority sector out of that that 18% should be given for agriculture 18% this is mandatory requirement of the government and the rbi 18% of total this is called actually adjusted net bank credit actually anbc banks actually they give whatever they actually they give actually this is adjusted net bank credit okay actually this is actually little bit uh, complicated anyway i will just uh, briefly touch up on this point credit credit means total gross credit whatever loans have been given by the bank it is called credit gross credit that is called gross credit what is net credit net credit means gross credit minus minus what actually loans against fcnr and nre deposits loans against fcnr foreign currency non resident deposits foreign currency non resident deposits and nre non resident external deposit accounts that means against that actually fcnr and nre deposits if some loans are given excluding that that is called net bank credit again actually adjusted net bank credit actually little bit actually little bit cumbersome anyway this is some contingent liability should be deducted from the net bank credit contingent liability means that's a bank guarantee letter of credit all these things okay for you may not be right now it may not be possible for you to understand anyway this much you understand is net bank credit means gross bank credit minus this loans given against nre deposits and fcnr deposits okay so the <coughs> on that actually this is 18% of adjusted anbc adjusted net bank credit that bank should finance for agriculture so what actually some banks actually if some banks fail to achieve that mandatory percentage what is going to happen so in that case in that case what is going to happen that actually there is a compulsory as per government of india guidelines it is compulsory 18% must be there so in that case what they have to do they bank have to compensate suppose some banks they have achieved at the end of the march they have actually 17% so 1% is shortfall is there 
So what we have to do? The one percent of that NBC of their NB NBC, yeah, it has to. They have to deposit in the RIDF of Nabat. RIDF, Rural Infrastructure Development Fund. So RIDF, Rural Infrastructure Development Fund. They have to actually to make so that actually ultimately it will be made eighteen percent. So what are the disadvantages of investing in RIDF banks on banks point of view? Banks point of view means these are disadvantages means actually RIDF gives a lesser interest. If actually the otherwise actually it is invested, it is actually loans are given. So how much rate of interest you will get actually? Because actually roughly actually nowadays eight to nine percent on an average rate of interest will be there. So here actually it will be actually around. 4% or 4.5% RIDF will give. So it is a loss proposition on the part of the bank. Biofuel. We have to, can discuss what is the biofuel. Biofuel is atrofa, and actually here one of the biofuels. Biofuel retuning. I think we have discussed retuning. What is retuning? Mostly in sugar cane, it is practiced. After the harvest of the one say, crop, actually the shoots will develop to a plant, and actually so that so that the retun crops mostly sugar cane. And, and another thing, coppicing and pollarding should know about the what is coppicing. Coppicing actually in the most practiced in it, tea. Coppicing is a method of cutting back of tree or shrub from the ground level. Coppicing periodically to stimulate growth leads to strong vegetative growth and a regeneration of new shoots from the base. Coppice trees have only fully developed root system so that a regrowth is rapid. This is mostly practiced in what a coffee, a tea, oak, hazelnut, chestnut, lime. These are the actually mostly actually this coffee tree crop actually it is mostly practiced because actually because coffee sing it will give new so coffee this tendu leaves is yes, a coffee sorry tea tea leaves should be tender. The actually this matured more matured leaves will not have a better taste. So tender leaves will have a more better taste. So that is why actually this is actually they are coppiced. Coppiced to have a more growth, more vegetative growth. Pollarding, pollarding is almost same, is similar to coppicing, but plants are cut back to stomp rather than down to the ground. Actually, instead of actually ground level, it should have a little bit up, it is cut, and actually this is this is also strong vegetative growth will be there. You can talk about the APNC, Agriculture Produce Market Committee. Agriculture Produce Market Committee is the marketing board established by the state governments in order to eliminate the exploitation incidents of the farmers by the intermediaries, where they are forced to sell their produce at an extremely low price. These are the role of APMC. Okay, role of AP, APMC with ensures that farmers are not exploited by intermediaries, money lenders, who compel the farmers to sell their produce at a at the farm gate for an extremely low price. All food produce should first be brought to the market yard and then sold through auction. This is the role of APMC. So many MC, the arts give the farm, farmers the freedom to sell and buy from produce at any place in the country, in the APNC market or outside the mandated area. To any trader like sale or milk, the act also allows trans transaction on electronic platforms to promote e-commerce in agriculture trade. Okay. Thousands of farmers have been protesting against these contentious farm laws. Actually, that actually some three laws have been actually passed 
So now subsequently it was uh, withdrawn. Anyway, it was withdrawn. But what were the laws? Thousands of farmers, farmers are protesting against the contentious farm laws since the last so many years. Actually, now it is also withdrawn. But anyway, what was that? What was that? Why these farmers are protesting? Some of the questions were there. What actually some farmers, the government of India has brought some formulated some a farm laws pertaining to agriculture. This is the, the part of doubling the agriculture income of the farmers. So, but what are, but what are the contents of the issue? What were the issue? Issue was what they, they are protesting in the what? What was the reason? The farmers fear that the amendment to APMC Act will deprive them of the MSP. And they will be at the mercy of the MNC and big corporate houses. So two major issues. Fear that MSP will not be enforced once private monies come off. The amendment to APMC Act. Okay. So these are the anyway that uh, act is now not, not any uh, uh, that is withdrawn. Anyway, this actually this is a some um, practical actually whenever we will meet face to face. In that case, actually, if any doubt is there, we will be in a position to clarify. Anyway, whatever actually some. Uh, inputs we try to give. Uh, let us see hope for the best actually. So we will be definitely meeting in the DC, um, DC mock interviews. So and another thing actually some some sometimes some disease and pest attack will be there actually. Some people are actually some people are there uh, actually entomology, mycology, plant pathology, nematology like that. So they must be prepared for that different diseases in different crops. Name some actually different diseases. And what are some resistant varieties? Or what are this, what are the chemical required, pesticides required to overcome these problems? The leguminous crops. What are the advantages of the leguminous crops? Leguminous crops means actually they fix atmospheric nitrogen. So that nitrogen requirement will be less. So, but except or her, or her, although it is a leguminous plant, but this they they can or her cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen. So these leguminous plants help in restoring soil fertility by fixing atmospheric nitrogen from air. Therefore, these are mostly grown in rotation with other crops. As different varieties of actually black gram, green gram. So, polyflower, so like that you should know that actually, some actually some names, some variety names also you should know. Like that some mango I have told, or a paddy I have told, wheat you have told. Cauliflower, cauliflower like the Pusak, Katki, Early Conwar, Pusa Synthetic, Punjab Giant, Pusa Snowball, Dania, Calipung, Cabbage, Cabbage, Copenhagen Market, Pride of India, Pusa Synthetic, Summer Queen, Pusa Drumhead, Potato, Varieties, Varieties of crop. Kupri Chandramukhi, Kupri Jyoti, Kupri Sindori, like that. What are their export purpose? Kupri Pokhraj, Jyoti, Bahar, Chief Sona, Sindori, Chandramukhi, Khyati, these are the potatoes, varieties. Suitable for export purpose. Brinjal, Pusa purple lung, purple cluster, Barsati, Vaisali, hmm. then Utkal Kesari, so like that. Afforestation and deforestation. Okay. Afforestation and deforestation. Social forestry, afforestation means planting of trees in a previously barren environment. Afforestation, deforestation, destruction of trees and forest for human habitation and use. Then types of flower, actually monoecious plant, dioecious plant, 
Harma product flower we have discussed, cost of cultivation, cost of production, benefits of crop rotation. Benefits of crop rotation, you will actually, we are not actually, I am not going to discuss, but you know that whether this is a question, you can just be prepared for that. What are the benefits of crop rotation? What is Parthenocarpy? Law of diminishing return, pruning and training, pruning and training. So, actually, just actually, I am some actually hints I am giving because actually there is no time now. So, pruning and training, what, what is the difference? Types of propagation, grafting, budding, layering like that, soil erosion, soil conservation. Then some scientific names with their families. What are the allied activities? Okay, the allied dairy farming, poultry, sheep, we have discussed that. Then millet's mission, millet, millet. So now government is giving more impact since recent. Now government is the central government, both state government and central government, they are giving more emphasis on millet mission. Then one the major millet, minor millet. Okay. Major millets was the Jawar, Bajra, Ragi. They are major millets. Then Suwa, Kodo, they are minor millets. See, they are highly nutritive value, nutritive value. And actually, climate resilient crops. Four major objectives. What are the objectives of the major millet mission? Production, consumption, processing, and marketing. Little swan is called little millet, fox tail millet, kangu. Ragi actually, it is often told that out of the nutritional value we are talking, ragi is 34 times more calcium than rice. Calcium content in ragi is 34 times more. In that swan also, it is iron content is 13 times more than rice. So, what is the you just have the importance of this millets? In actually, that is why actually the government is giving more emphasis on millets. Okay. So, these are the things. So, uh, uh, now we have tried to discuss actually actually give some certain hints and so many questions we have discussed here. Uh, try to actually because actually what some answers we could do actually whether I, I have tried to give whether actually otherwise actually some questions due to lack of time I could not give the answer. So actually what the questions I could give sufficient questions we could uh, uh, give uh, to uh, that uh, questions actually, lot of questions also now you have come across a lot of questions under agriculture. Technicality, technical questions and uh, related to banking also, agriculture related to banking, so many questions also you have now got. Now several inputs you have got, now you just prepare accordingly and let us hope for the best and all the best. Thank you.